Welcome back to another video guys, so I've recently made an airship, in this video I'm going to be showing you in some detail how I've made it and the finished product. So I'm going to be using the like same uh, construction stage examples that I do with my ship, so you can see this is the first stage. So I've roughly based this airship on a Viking longboat, as you can see. Just put a balloon at the top. On top of the balloon, I've uh, sort of designed a. <clears throat> instead of putting the dragon head on the the boat itself, I decided that um, a good idea would be to put it on the top of the balloon. And I've gone for these um, this uh, spar design, where there's one main spar and then two spars sort of um, are attached to the main one and come off it like that. So obviously I'm not going for realism with this build, I was just going for um, whatever I sort of thought was a good idea, try to make it as creative as possible. Um, so the next stage where I made the, the frame, see there for the balloon, I don't actually use world edit for the, for the balloon, I manually do it and then, well I manually do a quarter and then copy and paste it over, and uh, the boat there, the ribs, okay so stage where I filled it in. So it's all fairly basic. I think I actually decided to add these ribs in here to stop the balloon looking so plain. Okay, the third stage where I uh, began to add some more detail and basic colour scheme. See the sails there. I really do like how I've uh, design the spars, I think that's probably one of the best features of this uh, airship. Okay, so the, f the fin final stage, still got some improvements to make, so bear that in mind. So I'll just do a little uh, 360 around it. So I've actually decided to add in some oars despite it being a an airship of course, I've tried to make them look as if they'd actually be effective in the air. I'm not sure how effective that would be in real life, but um, I think it adds a nice bit of detail and it does sort of stick with that uh, Viking longboat uh, scheme that I was going for. Uh, I d didn't actually know where to add a flag, so I've decided on the dragon head here uh, just to, w to attach a red and orange flag. Uh, so it looks like the dragon's actually breathing fire, but it actually acts as, as a, a flag there. So I've gone with a blue uh, colour scheme. I thought that would work well with a Nordic schemed build. So tell me what you think of that. Gone obviously for this mixed block look. Um, I think maybe with the oak and birch there, might have um, there might be too much difference between those two blocks. But like I said, it's not finished, so I'm just sort of experimenting with designs at the moment. Um, I'm using a lot of coloured glass for this uh, for this build. I've used uh, light grey stained glass and some uh, normal grey stained glass there to show that uh, the ropes there are a bit thicker. I've also gone for a rudder, which you wouldn't see in a Viking longboat. Uh, you'd uh, see sort of a large oar on the back that would act as a rudder, but yeah, I've gone for a rudder there. Just thought it would look a bit nice. I'm thinking about adding perhaps a ram on the front to um, to go with that rudder. So tell me what you think of that. I've gone for a um, balloon-like design. If you've seen my hot air balloon, you'll have uh, seen a similar sort of technique, uh, decorative technique there. I've gone for this sort of thing at the front. <laughs> Again, I'm going for looks rather than any sort of realism, obviously. Just trying to be as creative as possible. Uh, so yeah, I've tried to create a a dragon design on the top. So with uh, like spiky bits there, sort of like you'd see in a sea serpent or something like that. Okay, so that's the uh, the airship guy. So, tell me if you um, can think of any improvements. Of course, because I haven't finished it just yet. Like I was saying, um, I think I could possibly add something on the front. It looks a bit plain there. Although I'm trying to stick with a 
a Viking scheme of some kind, just mix in with uh, mixed in with sort of a hot air balloon scheme as well. So yeah, tell me what you think of that. I wasn't I was trying to do something creative. Um, I was trying to make something an airship that wasn't uh, steampunk but was some sort of um, fantasy style. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video, guys, and as usual, thanks for watching.